Hi friends. This feels so weird. I kind of feel like I've forgotten how to talk to a camera. Like I feel nervous, but it also feels so good to be back. Like you cannot wipe a smile off my face. As some of you have noticed, I took a bit of a break on YouTube. I actually talked about it in the last video that I posted last year, but I took about a month off and I'm not gonna lie. Like as much as I love my job and I love YouTube and I love you guys, it was really refreshing to take a break. And I do just feel like, I just feel like myself again. And I don't know if I even really realized how much I didn't feel like myself like I kind of felt that way hence why I obviously felt like I needed to take a break but I don't think I realized I guess like the extent of it but I'm back and I feel better than ever and I'm just so glad we get to hang out again today's Wednesday I've been working all morning it is like 10 a.m. now I feel like there's so much to update you on but equally I feel like there's literally nothing to update you on but I'm sure I'll slowly kind of update you on everything as this vlog progresses but I've definitely made a lot of changes in my life over the past month while I've been off nothing crazy or like life changing but just small things like I've got a new morning routine I've got a new night routine I've started a few different habits things like that and I've started a new morning routine where I get up at five I do a few things and then I start work at seven so that's what I did this morning so I've just been working for the past couple of hours and now I'm gonna head out and run some errands I need to make a return or at least like send one out I want to go to the library because I have a book on hold there we have a few random things to do and then I'm gonna go have lunch with my mom but I'll bring you guys along and we can hang out as friends should I'm gonna bring my laptop. I don't know if I'm gonna get work done like at the library while I'm out. We'll see how much time I have in between things. I just don't wanna like go out, do my errands and then have an awkward amount of time between going out for lunch with my mom. So I'm just gonna bring my laptop and we'll work if we have time. But I'm also hoping I can get a bit of reading done. This is the current physical book I'm reading, Stolen Air by Holly Black. I need to get a book sleeve because I'm just chucking this in my bag. But I'm also gonna bring my Kindle, of course. This is the return I have to send out. I just needed to change a size of something. Phone, keys, and we need some water, of course. I honestly never thought I would be a Stanley Cup girly because they're not the easiest thing to find in Australia. But yesterday I was doing work with Soph at a cafe. And she was like, I have a surprise for you. And she hands me this. She surprised me with the Stanley Cup. That is the nicest thing ever. I do not remember the last time someone just like gave me something just because. That is so freaking nice. If I'm being honest, I feel like such a Utah girly. It's also so much bigger than I thought they were. Like when you see them in TikTok videos and stuff, like this is huge. I feel like I also have a small head, so maybe this is not <laughs> a good size reference, but this is huge, but it's gonna fit in my cup holder. That's pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's go. home from having lunch with my mom and now I'm just transferring some of my stuff into my gym bag and I'm heading off to the gym. I don't think I need too much. Just like my wallet and my headphones. I'm doing upper body today but look at this new set that I got from Stax. I only just got it yesterday so you know when you like get new activewear and that's like all you want to wear for the next literally every single day or every time you work out. I'll take off this. This is from their new core collection. It's their new version of the best black collection. I'm so excited about this. I would say the crop specifically in this launch are just so freaking fun. I'll probably show you later in this vlog. I'll be wearing the pieces throughout the week as well, but I'm just obsessed. Like, look how fun this is. I've never worn a one shoulder sports bra before and I just think it is so fun, especially for upper body. And although it's called the Best Black Collection, it does come in a bunch of other colors as well. But I also got these new shorts, which I've had these shorts before, but in a different length. I usually get the midi length in this collection and they've always had a longer length and I was kind of like I just want to try it out but because I'm such a short girl I feel like longer bike shorts on me at least in the past just make me look really short and I'm like literally five foot one like I don't need to be looking any shorter than I already am so I've always avoided it but for some reason I don't know why I decided to try the longer length again and I love it. I'm shocked at how my body looks in these because like I said, I thought it was gonna make me look super short, but I feel like I don't and maybe I'm just mistaken, but I don't know. I'm really, really liking these shorts. They do go a little bit longer. I have like yanked them up a little bit, but I usually do that with all my shorts anyway, just because I like a little bit of bunching. It just feels more comfortable for me personally, but yeah.
Happy Thursday, my friends. It is 4 p.m. and I am officially done with work for the day. I have been drinking so much water today, which is great. We, we love that. But I have had to pee every 10 minutes. And I don't understand how people drink so much water every day without having the inconvenience of peeing all the time. Like, how do you get anything done? Now, however, I have told myself that once I finish this water, oh, I really don't have much left. Once I finish this cup, I can have a Pepsi Max. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I have been converted to the Pepsi Max life. I used to be a Coke No Sugar girly, and I still love Coke No Sugar. Don't get me wrong, especially a McDonald's Coke No Sugar. That just hits different. But I have been hooked onto Pepsi Max. There's really not a huge difference, at least. I don't think there's a huge difference, but there is a difference. And lately, Pepsi Max has just been hitting the spot. And you know what? Of course, I want to be looking after my body and feeding myself good food. But I also believe in treating yourself. And for me recently, Pepsi Max has been treating myself. So I will be continuing to drink it, but only after I've drank my two liters of water for the day. I actually don't know how much fits in this cup. How do you know? Oh, 1.18 liter. So yeah, if I drink two of these a day, that's two liters or two and a half liters almost. Let's see what else I can tick off my to-do list. Done. Not yet, not yet, not yet. You know what? Out of the one, two, three, 12 things on my to-do list today, I've done eight, which is pretty good. And by the end of today, I know for sure I'll do at least three more. So there's only one thing that I didn't get to do. So I'm pretty happy with that. We had a very productive day, but it was also one of those days where I literally just sat at my computer all day. I haven't left the house today. Today is also a rest day from the gym. So most of the time the gym is the only time I leave the house. Also, I need to show you these flowers before they really die because they're really, they're getting close. I feel like you guys can't even really understand how beautiful they are because they are definitely a lot more wilted than they were a couple of days ago, obviously. But these are my beautiful anniversary flowers. It was our two year wedding anniversary on Monday, which is crazy. So yeah, Liam sent these to the house while he was at work and they are so beautiful. These ones have just actually started, <laughs> well, I was gonna say sprouting. That's definitely not the right word, but I don't know what the word is. But yeah, these ones and these ones are definitely on their last legs. Also, I have this candle. I got it from Dusk how beautiful is this and it smells incredible and this little setup is just giving me so much life right now but yeah it has been a productive day but also a i'm sitting at my desk all day tip tap tapping away on my computer kind of day but i think now i'm gonna chill for a bit and then in like an hour or so i'll start cooking dinner so i think i'll just do a bit of reading for now do you guys want to see my current read this is it. This is the current read right now. I'm really enjoying it. I only started it like, I would say the day before yesterday and I'm only like 10% of the way through because I was also like reading another book at the same time. Actually, as per usual, I have like three or four books on the go at the same time. Last night, I just finished Glow by Raven Kennedy and that book was the bane of my existence for at least three weeks. It took me so long to get through. I don't know why because the other books in the Plated Prisoner series I got through in probably two days each. But for some reason, like it is chunky. Don't get me wrong. Like I understand that it's going to take me a hot minute to get through but at the same time it just took like a ridiculous amount of time this is the book i'm referring to look how it literally looks like a bible i think it's like 700 and something pages but i'm done with it now which i'm so glad about because i'm not gonna lie it wasn't my favorite it wasn't bad it just wasn't my favorite and so obviously for romance i'm reading from luke off with love by mariana zapata and as for fantasy i am currently reading the stolen air by holly black of course such a highly anticipated release for me as it is for so many others as well but i don't know which one i feel like reading right now we'll see i'll catch up with you guys in a little while you know when you're just like go 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 all day and then you finally like chill for two seconds and and you're like, whoa. I'm actually exhausted. That's how I feel right now. So it is now like five. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm not gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I was supposed to say, and then get into some comfy clothes, but I'm literally wearing a loungewear set. But I'm just gonna get into some other comfy clothes. Why am I so exhausted? I literally just sat at a desk all day. <laughs> Didn't even go to the gym. What the heck? Squeaky clean. Now to do my nightly skincare. I used to hate doing my skincare. It felt like such a chore. And then one day I literally was just like, I need to romanticize this somehow because I need to do it twice a day for potentially the rest of my life. So I may as well enjoy it. 
I just started romanticizing it, kind of just making it a really like chill part of my day, especially like my nighttime skincare. I'm just like winding down, relaxing. It's obviously the end of the day. Sometimes I do it before dinner, sometimes I do it after dinner, but it just feels really relaxing to me now and I love it. So I'm starting, well not starting off, I cleansed my face in the shower. Now I have a dry face and I'm gonna go in with my hydrating gel exfoliant from Kita Skin. Huge thank you to Kita Skin for sponsoring this next part of the vlog. This is what it looks like, like a gel as the name suggests and you just rub it in to your skin and it's just a really gentle but really effective exfoliant and I swear by this I've been using this for I don't even know how long now months and months now I do have a lot of acne scarring so don't mind that but you can literally see the bits of dead skin coming off your face which is so satisfying and then you just rinse it off exfoliant done now i'm going in with my serums i do have a discount code for these as well i'll leave it on the screen for you guys and linked down below in the description i'm obsessed this is the mochi skin serum so i do this one first a little bit here there everywhere this is super hydrating the key ingredients in this one are niacinamide I can never say that. Nice simonide, cinnamide, simonide, cinnamide. Hopefully you know what I'm referring to, even if I say it wrong. And hyaluronic acid, which I used to use like separately, like two different products for those two things. But this has both in one. And then I go in with the algae super serum. Basically, just do the same thing. A couple drops across my face. I really shouldn't be using the viewfinder as a mirror, but I'm also trying not to actually touch my face with the dropper because I know that that can kind of spread bacteria. But again, this is just super hydrating. This has an ingredient called, oh, I'm never gonna be able to pronounce this correctly, sacrin, sacran, <laughs> but it holds up to six thousand times its weight in water so just imagine how hydrating that is for your skin it's literally incredible and i'm obsessed and if the day ever comes where i'm not sponsored by keto anymore you best believe i'll still be using their products every day because i'm hooked and then i'm just going to finish off with some moisturizer i'm actually using one that i'm not loving at the moment because i ran out of the one i was using and i've been back to the shops to try and repurchase it twice and both times it's been out of stock so i'm just using another one for now it's fine it's just not amazing Literally, I touch my face and it turns red, so ignore that. Skincare is such a simple pleasure that just adds so much joy to my life. Time to make some dinner. I think we're gonna have burritos. That is the sound of heaven. <laughs> it literally is like up to here. I feel like I'm gonna cry. It's Friday, it's 7.30 a.m. I just kind of sat down to start my work for the day. And last night I uploaded my first YouTube video for the year, which was my 2023 reset. And so I was just sitting down and responding to some comments and I am blown away at just how nice people are being. Like you guys are always so nice to me. I, d I don't wanna make it sound like you're not. Like I'm just scrolling and scrolling and there are just so many nice comments. Like. I'm just so grateful, so incredibly grateful. I don't know how I ended up with such a beautiful community, but you guys just bring me so much joy. So I just wanted to say thank you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of scared to upload for the first time in a month because I haven't taken a break before and I just wasn't sure what it would be like. Like, I don't know, it's like when you haven't gone to the gym in a while and then you go for the first time and it's a little bit scary because you're just like out of routine and you just, I don't know, just, it's a bit intimidating. That's kind of how I felt last night uploading my first video, but I shouldn't have been worried at all. I truly love you guys so much, but I'm gonna get back to work. I finished with my little work stint for the morning. Lately, I've been doing a few hours in the morning, take a break while I go to the gym and have lunch, and then I do a few more hours in the afternoon. And it's working really well. So I'm about to get ready for the gym. I've got lower body today, and I'm trying to work out what I wanna wear. I wanna wear something from the new Stax collection, obviously. <laughs> this is the worst angle. I wore the one shoulder the other day, so I won't wear that today. I think I either want to wear like this style. How cool is that? And I have that one in a couple different colors. So freaking cool. Or even this could be super cool, like unzipped. It unzips from the top and the bottom, which I think is just 
so fun. But maybe not for today. Even this top is really, really nice because it actually has a clasp at the back and that just seems really nice. I think I want to go with like the fun, the fun cutout one. But do I go with like the kind of grey or like the khaki? Mm, you guys will see what I end up deciding. Here is the fit that I decided on. I've got the really cool crop. I just think it's so fun. My shorts are from Crop Shop. They are definitely a different colour. But I feel like they complement each other well. But I don't have the matching shorts to this crop. I might have to get them because I really, really like this colour. And then I'm also just wearing Converse because it's lower body day. So I want to have flat feet. And I think I'm just going to chuck on a little top on top of this. This video is going out Monday and I think this collection from Stax is coming out on Friday. So if you're watching this video when it comes out, this won't be available yet, but it will be in a few days. Not sponsored, just letting you guys know. But in saying that, if you guys do want to purchase anything from Stax, I do have a code. It's just Rach10. You can always use that if you would like to. Of course, you don't have to, but I do really appreciate it because I earn a small commission. I'm so hungry, but usually I don't have lunch till I get home from the gym because it's only like 10 40 right now like it's not lunchtime but i don't know why i'm so hungry but i might just have a little snacky snack and then head off to the gym i changed my t-shirt i wasn't vibing the other one but does anyone know how to make your shoes stop squeaking it's only my converse can you guys hear this what the frick embarrassing good morning guys happy sunday i look like a bit of a tomato i've just gone on a bit of a long walk so it's just what happens to my face every time i exercise it's almost 9 30 a.m and if you watched my 2023 reset you might remember me saying that i want sundays to be either a social media free day or a completely phone free day for me every single week and so today that is that um i was about to be like i haven't even touched my phone all day it's literally 9 a.m like don't be dramatic the main reason that i want to be having a phone free or a social media free day on a sunday is mostly just to help me create more of a work-life balance because obviously I do social media as my full-time job so I just wanted to explain myself a little bit because I don't want anyone else to feel like they have to do this or I'm like trying to push this on anyone else because this is a very individual experience and obviously if you want to be spending less time on your phone or less time on social media maybe this is something you want to implement but if you're someone who obviously just like works a normal nine to five and you're at a workplace all week and then you come home and you want to chill and one of your ways of chilling is scrolling through TikTok or scrolling through Instagram then like do that there is nothing inherently wrong with that at least I don't think so but for me because I spend so much of my week working on YouTube working on Instagram just like in the social media world I just don't want to be spending my weekends doing that because for me it just makes me feel like I'm working 24 7 and although I do love love scrolling TikTok love scrolling Instagram like I do find it fun and I do find it like enjoyable and like relaxing most of the time I still just want to be able to get out of the social media world sometimes you know so this is honestly the first Sunday where I'm being like really really strict on it the last couple weeks I have kind of done it kind of not I've like definitely used my phone less on Sundays but it definitely hasn't been a phone free day for me so we're working on it I feel like that's the thing with habits if you don't succeed right away it's so easy to be like oh never mind I failed I'm giving up if you keep trying eventually you will succeed and so that is my plan even though I haven't succeeded so far and we're pretty much at the end of January I'm still going to keep trying I'm also just trying to work out when I want to go to the gym because I have an upper body session that I need to do today and I'm trying to work out if I'd rather go now or at like lunchtime and I just like genuinely don't know the other thing I wanted to update you guys on today is I realized that I haven't told you about my new my new little friend I could say. Let me introduce you. Say hello to my new little walking pad friend. I don't actually know if I can call it a walking pad because it has like the handles, but it's kind of like the size of a walking pad. It's only about like a meter long, maybe just over a meter long. It's in our little like library room because I don't really know where to put it. It might end up moving, but it's a good spot right now. Basically, long story short, I have been wanting a walking pad for months months and months and months i follow so many like tiktok girlies especially that have a walking pad and it just looked like it would solve so many of my problems i mentioned as one of my new year's goals that i wanted to do more walks and the main reason i don't go for more walks like outside is because i get so bored i just like get in my head and i keep just being like i want this to be over i want this to be over i want this to be over and i don't end up walking as long as i could because i'm just like so over it and i just just hate it. I've tried listening to podcasts, music, audiobooks, all of it, and I just like, unless I'm literally walking with another person, I just hate it, and I can't be walking with someone 
every single day because people just aren't free when I'm free. You know what I mean? So that was like my main reason. And then also I just, I don't want to say I feel unsafe walking, but I just get like nervous. I live in such a safe area. So I don't know why I feel this, but just like walking around sometimes, especially obviously like early in the morning or late at night, it's not really an option, at least when it's dark. And I don't know, I just, it just like stresses me out. There's just like so much. <laughs> I'm sure other anxious girlies just get it. I just am constantly thinking of worst case scenario. So while I'm walking, if I'm just getting stressed, it's just not enjoyable. And then lastly, I just work a job where I sit at a computer like all day. And unless I'm intentional about getting movement in my day, it just doesn't happen as I'm sure many of you can relate to and understand. I just don't have a very active job. And this is the first job that I've had in my life where it hasn't been active. Like every other job that I've had, I worked in retail where you're just constantly walking around. You're literally never sitting down. And then I worked in a primary school where I was constantly running after kids and I would easily get like 15,000 steps in a day just by working. And now I just sit at a desk and I have just noticed that it's not my favorite thing. So I really wanted to get a walking pad, but I also wasn't sure if I would use it or if I'd use it for a week and then give up or if I'd want to be able to do work in it and it just wouldn't be possible for me. And it's a lot of money to invest in something that you're just like not sure about. The cheapest I could see them was around $300, but there are so many different ones you can get for so many different prices. Anyway, so I've been mean, wanting one for months and I kind of convinced myself out of it. I was like, Rachel, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. But no joke. I just like kept thinking about this for months and months and months. And then it's start of January I was like I really want this walking pad I can't stop thinking about it is there any way I can kind of almost like figure out a compromise is there any way I can get one of these things in my life for not $300 and so I decided to try and figure out if I could get one second hand and so I looked on Facebook marketplace which idiot I don't know why I didn't even consider that before I'm definitely not one of those people that like makes a lot of Facebook market purchases I feel like it's such a smart thing to do buying and selling through there I feel like I don't know why I don't do it more often actually I do because interacting with strangers is terrifying but I started doing some research. There are also so many on Facebook Marketplace. Definitely recommend checking it out. And I found one on there. It was like 10 minutes away and they were selling it for $50. And I was like, this is insane. So I messaged the person. I was like, is this still available? They said yes. And so I started to research the actual like machine, like this specific model. Turns out it's a very, very, very old machine. Hence, I think why it was $50. They don't sell this one anymore. It's also a very basic model in comparison to the walking pad that you can get now. Obviously it has like the handles, which is not like ideally what I wanted. Like originally if I was gonna buy brand new, I would just buy the walking pad, not the one with handles because obviously I can't fit it under a desk or I probably could fit it under a standing desk, but I don't have a standing desk. So it wasn't ideal, but I was like, I reckon I can make this work. And so I decided to get it drove, picked it up, paid my $50, which is just insane to me when I was going to spend like three, four, five hundred $500 on the same thing or similar thing and brought it home and I've used it almost every day since and I freaking love it. I also sometimes put like a little wooden board across the handles, just like sit it on top of the handles and then I have like my own little standing desk, which is amazing. I don't even feel like I need to buy a standing desk for it Um, and I can do work on it. I can watch shows. I can read my book. So I'm just like not getting as bored as I would walking outside and I feel so much more safe because I'm at home. It really just genuinely solves all of my problems. Another purchase that I made to go along with it is a new Apple Watch band. I don't want to show my feet, but it's stretchy and so it goes around my ankle. It literally looks like I'm on house arrest, but it's just a stretchy <laughs> band for my Apple Watch. It's just easier to track your movement on a treadmill or on a walking pad when you have your Apple Watch around your ankle because if my hands are sitting like reading a book or typing, they're not like picking up on the steps if that makes any sense and so if you want to be tracking your movement on your Apple watch I would recommend the stretchy band it's like 10 bucks from Amazon definitely worth it in my opinion but for example it is 9 30 in the morning and I have already walked 10,000 steps that is insane for me eight kilometers just from using my walking pad and like walking around the house a little bit and I'm obsessed so definitely recommend Facebook marketplace checking it out if you want to get your hands on a walking pad I've decided to head off to the gym now it's like 10 got a Gymshark tee and then these shorts are from Puma I swear I've had these they're probably one of the oldest items in my wardrobe I've definitely had them since high school but I don't remember exactly when probably year 11 or 12 and then I'm wearing these shoes which you guys actually haven't seen these are Nike Ooh, what are they called are they Air Max 
I don't really know. I've wanted them for literally over a year. And so I decided to ask for them for Christmas and I'm obsessed, especially for my upper body days and just like walks. I just think they're really, really beautiful and I really needed a new pair of white sneakers. And these are actually from the kids section. If you want to save like 40 bucks, get the kids ones. beverage girly. I never used to be. All I used to drink was water. Literally, that's it. No coffee, no tea, no soft drink even. I would occasionally drink soft drink, but like probably once or twice a month if I like went out for dinner or something. I just liked my water. And slowly as I've gotten older, I have become a beverage girly. And I I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's very fun. For example, I've just come and sit down at my desk. It is like 1 p.m. now. And in front of me, I have my water bottle. Classic Future You store. We love her. She's beautiful. Emotional support water bottle obviously comes everywhere with me. Then we also have the new addition to the family, which is my Stanley cup, which you guys have seen all week. This is no surprise. And in here, we have Diet Right. Apple Guava Diet Right. And if you're not on the Diet Right train, please hop on. I'm welcoming you. I'll give you a ticket. Apple Guava specifically. Like, I don't mind the other flavors, but this is truly elite. And if you don't know what Diet Right is, it's just cordial. That's, that's it. But if you don't like water or you struggle to drink water, cordial is, like, I don't know how great it is for you, but it definitely makes to drink more water. Having a fun pink beverage, I love it. I don't drink it every day, but I do quite enjoy. You'd think that's enough, but unfortunately not. We do have a third beverage, which is my second coffee of the day. Little ice latte. I look forward to my coffee, my morning coffee and my afternoon coffee every single day. Like I'm almost like counting down the hours sometimes. Or like when I wake up, I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to make my coffee. Anyway, today has been so chill. I'm just like sitting down at my desk to read. Sometimes I like to sit at my desk and read if I want to like annotate. I don't know if I'm gonna annotate, but I just wanted to have the option. But all I've done so far today, did my walk, went to the gym, I came home and had a shower, and then I got into a bikini and like laid outside for a while because it was such a beautiful sunny day. And laying in the sun is like my favorite thing in the world. I love it so much. Obviously SPF, of course. And to be honest, I do like 30 minutes and that's it. But it just makes me feel so warm inside. Like it just warms me from the inside out and I just, it's like a drug to me, honestly. I love sitting in the sun in any capacity. So I went and did that, and then I've just like chucked on this dress over my bikini, done some little like housey bits, had some lunch, and now we're just chilling. Honestly, like a perfect Sunday, I can't lie. home from church, had some dinner, and my plan for the rest of the night is to take this makeup off and read. So I'm going to end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. First weekly vlog of 2023, but many, many, many more to come. I love you guys, and I will see you very soon in another video. Good bye.